Okay, today is day one of us beginning a vlogging adventure. The reason for that really is because my favorite videos were the ones where Ryan and I were doing something and creating memories and then we had videos that we could go back and look at, um, like our proposal video or we went to, Gary, we went to the Doxy Dash. Here's Gary on his little blankie. Hi, Kure. You hanging out next to Daddy's shoes? So, we are starting to do, we're gonna try to do some daily vlogs. We are starting right now. Yum, I've got my breakfast burrito, iced coffee, and we are ready to start working for the day. Hello, work buddy. You're so sweet. Yes, Gary. Oh, look at those precious eyes. Someone looks so tired. Huh? Oh, my precious boy. Yum. Recycle. Messy garage. Ugh, don't look in there. <laughs> we keep our trash and recycling stuff in the garage because somebody likes to eat trash. Look at this guilty girl. You look guilty, don't you? Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, stretch. <laughs> Good morning. It's afternoon now. Huh, sweetheart? Is it time to go outside? It's so windy outside today. Outside. You will meet Ryan later on in this vlog. Um, pretty soon here. So, yeah. Some of the things you'll see from me is... Um, I do a lot of scrapbooking, I do a lot of travel for work, not a lot of travel, but a little bit of travel. And then, um, we do a lot of house projects, we do, I do a lot of stuff with planners, um, a lot of cooking, I shop way too much, stay tuned! Ooh, food's ready. Alright guys, this is what Gary is like every single day. Between three and four. These two are so hungry. They think it's dinner time, but it's not. I'm not feeding you until four, Gary. Where's this one? Coda. Hi, sweetie. Isn't she special? She has her own little cubby. <laughs> oh, this one's getting, are you getting anxious for dinner? You are, aren't you? You're so sweet. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, I will feed you in 30 minutes. You wait. You wait. <laughs> Who's hungry? <gasps> Who is it, Cora? <laughs> oh, you too. All right. Bowls. I know you're no not yet not yet ready steady Freddy go <laughs> if any of you have dogs that have um, the inability to eat slowly and they scarf down their food and <laughs> they're basically just little animals, which is kind of what they are, but um, these slow feed bowls right here are absolutely amazing. 
They're really good, especially for labs. Labs are known for um, eating way too fast. And then their stomachs can actually, I think, I think their stomachs can actually twist or something like that. So um, if you have a dog that eats way too fast, definitely get one of those slow feed bowls. I've seen them at Wagon Wash. We actually got Gary's small size one at Marshall's. No, not Marshall's, TG Maxx. And it's this little one. It's just basically a smaller version of Dakotas. We love them. If you don't have one and you have a dog that eats too fast, highly recommend. Hey guys, going into the gym, I do this high intensity interval training type place and it's, I hate working out. I absolutely hate working out like with a passion. So I don't know, there's something about someone barking at you for an hour that keeps you motivated. What's up guys? It's uh Thursday night, it's my first vlog by myself, if you couldn't tell already. I know it's early, but it's Thursday night, Lindsay's at uh, her gym class, so let's see here. These two, say hi Dakota, and Gary, Gary, say hi. The three of us are going to cook dinner ourselves tonight, so stay tuned for a good show. We're going to make tacos. There's our lovely fridge, there's some meat that we froze last weekend. I'm gonna set this down for a minute over here. I'll keep talking to you though, don't worry. Now Koda's excited, she saw some food. Huh. She's talking to you the whole time. So yeah, so Tuesdays and Thursdays, Lindsay goes to uh, the gym to do like a group workout thing. And so I told her that those, were, those will be my nights to make dinner, so. We usually have tacos or pasta one or the other before we go out. Tuesday after the Sky Sox game and then dinner. Throw that in there, a little ground beef. Wash our hands. Clean hands. I need to get, teach these dogs how to operate like a tripod or something here. Um, all right, so I got this meat going. So today was pretty windy, gloomy day and working outside made it, you know, Really pretty tough. Sent the guys home a little bit early today. Because we couldn't really do a whole lot outside spraying or anything like that. So, get this going. All right, let's find the rest of the stuff that we're gonna make here. So we got some beans, salsa. Coda knows I'm cooking now, huh? Huh, Coda? We we'll probably need some vegetables, some tomatoes, uh, spinach. We'll have spinach in our tacos tonight. So here's some jalapenos that we grew in our garden. So I don't know how people do this, like cook dinner. I guess there's two of them usually when they're trying to do this and cook food. So one person holds the camera, as you can see, like I get distracted and you get awfully close to my face there, don't you? Um, and I bet one person holds the camera and one person uh, does all the things. It's so oh, that's pretty hot, really bad. And so our tomatoes, we planted six tomatoes this year in the garden. And I think we're gonna get one of them that's actually gonna produce. The rest of them, I don't know what's going on. Yellow leaves. Tomatoes aren't really coming out, no, not a lot of flowers. If any of you, any of you are tomato experts, shed a little light on that. I'll show you some pictures later. So we just can't figure it out. We have one that's like just, I mean, it's going like crazy. You can't even, you know, once it actually starts putting out tomatoes, and once they start getting red, it has tomatoes, but... Yeah, once they start getting red, more tomatoes than we can eat. So we're going to go from... Store bought, we have one tomato tonight to, in a few days, maybe a week at most, we're gonna have more tomatoes than we know what to do with. The neighbors will get some more some more fresh vegetables from our garden. Got a bunch of kale that we gave to the neighbors over here, Stephen and Ray, they love it. And then uh, hopefully soon here we'll have like some cucumbers, the corn is about ready. And this year we have yellow sweet corn that you can actually eat. 
Last year I bought ornamental corn. Didn't even realize it. Which, by the way, you can't eat ornamental corn. Or at least I, I, don't, I wouldn't. I don't think it would be very good. So we grew it anyways, just to see, but... Well, actually, we started growing it and then realized once I pulled one off that it was ornamental corn. So I shouldn't say that we grew it just to see. I mean, we grew it thinking we were going to have corn. So... The knife is not very sharp. So that was pretty embarrassing. I still get... I still get harassed about that every once in a while. I shouldn't say harassed. I still get a hard time about it, though. It's like under pressure here. Oh! Mutilating this tomato! Man, that was tragic. That was, that was bad. I didn't pour that very well. So, as you can probably see here, this is why we usually have Taco Tuesday and Pasta Thursday. In this case, it's the other way. Taco Thursday. That is because I cannot cook very well. Before I met Lindsay, well, before Lindsay and I started dating, we've known each other since really, I guess, it's, I mean, over, wow, almost 10 years now, since we graduated high school, plus two, so, for 12 years we've known each other. Uh, we only started dating, you know, about three and a half, four years ago, I guess. We've been married for almost a year next weekend. Clap for that. We're excited. Um, man, a little history on me before that. I, I basically ate uh, Chipotle, Chipotle, Chipotle. Uh, and then would make some hamburgers or pasta from time to time, but I was really not much of a cook those days. So she has really changed that. Let me explore my cooking inabilities, per se, I guess. Which is probably why we're having spinach with our tacos instead of lettuce. So, I don't know what just, I don't know what just happened there. I'm still trying to figure out how to work these camera things, but that, it shut off. So, here we are again, though. I was showing you my hand is red from that onion. I don't know if that's good or bad or... Or what, but whew! That was a strong on your set that over there. Oh, I am good! Look at that! Now you can see. Can you see me though? Huh? Over here? Yeah, I guess. Maybe. A little bit. Hello? Hello? So, alright, got the onion. Now let's do this. Tacos. What do I do? Did I pour this whole thing in there? Come on, it doesn't even say what to do. I'm guessing you put the whole thing in there. I'm putting the whole thing in there. I'm gonna put the whole thing in there and then a little bit of water. Right? I don't know, that seems like a lot of seasoning to put in here though. Brown beef, stirring water, that seasoning. Yeah, I guess you put the whole thing in there. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe some people don't. I don't know. I don't think I always do. I can't remember I've really made tacos by myself in quite a while. Alright, so we'll get that in there. Need a little bit of water. Get that cooked down. <laughs> yeah, you guys smell it now, don't you? They're all in up in there. Whew! That onion. Jeez! That was probably way too much water. Eh, I don't know. I'll let it cook down for a while and see. Holy cow. I, that was a hot and spicy... That was a hot and spicy taco seasoning and then I put fresh jalapenos. <laughs> this is probably not even going to be edible. And there's a ton of water in here. Oh, jeez, guys. Oh, I should have gone with pasta. It's the pressure of my first time on camera. That's what it is. Alright, so we'll get that simmer in. So yeah, oh, but you guys like, check out, so we just finished doing the kitchen over. I'll show you that, hold on one second. Turn this back on. I think I can take a break here for a second now. That, 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 I got some extra tomatoes I can cut out that on this old and crummy. Here's my crummy bananas. Scissors can go away. All right, so sorry about the hand. I got to get better at that. Oh, jeez. 
scissors are stuck. All right, cool. So, check it out. Uh, this winter, we gutted this kitchen. You should have seen it before. It was a disaster. 1978 original cabinets, countertops, flooring. Three layers of linoleum. They did update it sometime in the last five to ten years, though, so it was a little bit more modern, huh, guys? But still. All right, so let's look right here. So basically, like, where this countertop is, that used to be a wall all the way to the ceiling. This one, too, all the way to the ceiling was a wall. Um, and so what we did was took that off, put a ledge there. There was This counter wasn't here. These cabinets were not there, so that added a lot of storage. And then just replaced all of these. So... We went with a taller cabinet that's like a hickory. Yeah, we went with the nice granite countertops. We've had the fridge for a while, it's nothing special. Uh, there's the microwave above. So we used to have a microwave that sat right there, took up a ton of room. Put this bad boy in, see all that? Look at all that cooking space. Pretty nice, I think so too. So that's the new kitchen. There's the taco meat. Here I am again. So I got tomatoes, I got onion, I got spinach instead of lettuce. Some more tomatoes that I mutilated with a dull knife. Uh, and then last night we had some beans and rice. Lindsay made these from like a fresh dry bean. Soaked them, cooked them all day. Amazing. So I'm going to heat some of that up in a little bit. That'll be kind of like a side for our dinner. Yeah. While I'm waiting for that taco meat to cook down, let me put my lunch stuff away. Oh, uh, Dad? Dad? Can you... Uh, do you think that you could drop some food while mom's not home? Because uh, we pretty much didn't get fed today at all. So Gary's camera shy. Look at that. Gary, are you camera shy? Hey. You guys are just in there because you want food, huh? So these are our two babies right now. Dakota's that one right there on the left. The black lab. Gary, he's our little wiener dog. Gary's two, he'll be three in September, and Dakota's ten, she'll be eleven in January, so she's my old baby. Dakota and I have been together since what? 2006? Yeah. Yeah, a year after we got out of high school. We've had some good times. Huh, Dakota? You've eaten. So one thing, the reason that actually we got this new fridge, off subject here again, I'll jump around a lot on it. Uh, Dakota used to be able to open the fridge, so when I first moved in, the door on an old fridge opened from this side that way. So she would stick her little nose in here, pop it open, eat all the eggs, anything that she could get out of there. So then I got one that's like a side-by-side. -side. Well, she started just grabbing the handle and opening that one. So this one opens against the wall. She hasn't figured out how to open it yet. So, I mean, so far we're in good shape. It's been about, oh, two years, I think, since we got that fridge. Not a single incident. So, yeah. Dakota's probably eaten about 100 eggs in her life. Um, I mean, you name it, she has eaten it out of the fridge. One thing I never was able to teach her uh, what to do was to be able to get beer. So, we need to work on that. I think we're out of time. Plus, I keep the beer in the garage, so we'll see. All right. Got the taco meat simmering. What else am I forgetting here? Tortillas. All right, let's see what we got. It's, uh... Four tortillas. Want some mashed potatoes with your tacos? I'll do it, don't tempt me. So forgive the jumpiness of the camera. I mean, I hope they enjoy my videos solo. It'll be a lot better when Lindsay's here because she'll, she'll make sure to help me with all of these things. I don't see any tortillas in there. Plus your, I don't know how you do this either. Your arm gets tired holding the camera up to your your face, but I guess you get used to it. Here's some chips. Well, I think I just made tacos without any taco shells or tortillas, so. <laughs> Oops. So you can just have, we'll just have taco salad with tortilla chips. I thought we had some tortillas to make like a burrito, but. Gosh, I'm sorry. I don't see them anywhere in here. Yeah, I don't see them. No. That's like making pasta without the noodles. Jeez. Need some help. I'm gonna switch hands. My hands are getting tired. So yeah, so today, let's see. Man, it was windy. Probably the windiest day we've had in a while. You could tell there was a cold front coming in. And I work outside, so it made it tough. I mean, I think the guys all were out of the shop by about one. Um, 
so I just finished up everything that I it was nice because when the weather's bad like that even on windy days you know we don't get a lot of calls from customers and so I'm able to kind of get caught up on things and so that was nice I got caught up on everything that I needed to get caught up on and so I'll show you what it looks like outside in colorful Colorado today Pretty windy, pretty nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. All right, so let's get back to making tacos here. All right, so I got the meat, tomato, salsa, onion, chips, pistachio. Just kidding, I'm just gonna eat the pistachio. All kinds of stuff in here. Today would have been a good chili day. Should have made chili. Should have thought of that. Chili would have been so good today. It's gloomy out. It's kind of cold. Not really that cold though. It's still in the 70s. I can't believe we don't have any tortillas. Watch. Lindsay will come home. She'll find them in like five minutes. Less than that probably. She probably already knows where they are. We should call her and ask her. No, she's working. Working on that bod. Hey girl, look at that body. Oh, that got weird, didn't it? There they are. Found them. I hate working out. Hey, so how was dinner, Lindsay? It was good. Those are good tacos, huh? <laughs> good taco salad. What are we doing now? Watching documentaries. Watching what? We can't hear you. Documentaries. Oh, don't you love documentaries? I love them. I have... I have our TiVo set to record at least one documentary a week, maybe two. Uh -uh. And then I force her to watch them. We like don't me. have TiVo. What's TiVo? You just said we you have our TiVo set to record. I thought I said DVR. Did you? I don't know. I don't rewind know. it and see. <laughs> you can't just rewind it as it's recording. Why not? Because it's recording right now. We'll just pause it and rewind it and then get back in. <laughs> No. Can't you just stop the video and then instantly turn it back in on the spot that you stopped it? On the computer. Oh. I don't know how to do it on there. We're going to edit DVR into where I said TiVo, if I said TiVo. So, I think we're going to sign out for tonight. Hopefully you guys enjoyed everything. And it's time for some documentaries. <laughs> See ya. Bye.